Hello everyone, we're going to show you how to activate the experimental chemical module in Nuclearis nuclear reactor sim. To do this, it's really, really simple. Uh, first thing you first, you're going to want to make your way to the saved game folder. So I'm going to right click over here in Steam, I'm going to press manage and hit browse local files. Now as soon as you do that, so we're going to be making our way to the assets folder, the characteristics folder, and the config.xml. Now the way I like to open this up is I actually like to open this up in my notepad. So I'm gonna grab myself a copy of notepad, drag that down. And all I'm gonna do is drag it over there like that. You can also right click and I can do like open with if you need to do so as well. And notepad's probably gonna be one of the options depending on what you have programmed. So what we need to do is we need to enable these and it's really easy to do. I'm just gonna press control F. I'm gonna go ahead and type in enable just like that, press enter. And it's gonna yell at you because you need to search down if you're starting at the top. Press that and you'll see enable experimentals false. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna change this to the word true. We're gonna go ahead and save our file and then we're gonna go ahead and open it up and see what changes. Now that we're in the game itself, we can make our way down to options. And if you scroll down a little bit, you're gonna notice chemical module experimental is now selectable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click that little check box right there and press the save button. It's gonna get all grumpy. And then we're gonna go ahead and start a new game. It's worth noting at this point that if you do click that box, you have to restart Nuclearis before starting a new game. One of the things you're going to notice now after you've restarted your game is we have a brand new station. We have the chemical treatment station. Now the chemical treatment station is a little bit different than some of the other components that we have here. It's basically responsible for trying to eliminate the kinds of chemicals that get into the reactor that cause the reaction issues. Now the interesting thing is, as I mentioned before, this is all completely experimental features. So uh, once you start messing around with some of these, uh, don't be surprised if there's some unexpected behavior. Now this is so cool because basically you're going to have a component that's going to allow you to select what different pieces you want. You can activate a special truck that comes by and punts us in. You have the ability to control your boron dosing. You also, of course, have your filter pump, basically for the purposes of cleaning out all the nastiness that's going to be building up inside of your reactor. You also have nice and conveniently controlled little windows up here that can now be utilized. Likewise, another kind of neat thing that you get as well is if you look down there is we have a new filter treatment room. Now, if I go ahead and open this sucker up real quick and I'll run all the way down there, which I'll do now, you can actually see inside of this to see some of the mechanics on there. And I love the fact you get the little active experimental options in the bottom right corner, bottom center, I should say, just to remind us that uh, we're goofing around in uncharted territory. But when you come in here, this is actually pretty cool. You've got yourself a little waste tank that you can fill up some of the nastiness with. You got this little opportunity down here. I get such a kick out of this. And it's just another like little detail that they added, which you can see this is gonna take us all the way over down that way. And like I said, it took some real time to go through and put all these in here. Again, trying to isolate uh, the rest of the reactor from all this nastiness that we're going to be pumping in here. But this goes down quite a ways and just gives you an idea of some of the kind of neat stuff that you have. Returning back to the room itself, uh, you can see we come on up here and now we have all sorts of uh, nice little equipment, all sorts of sophisticated pumps, that's what's uh, directly behind us. And we also get this handy dandy little place down here where we have kind of a copy of all the different equipment up top for the ability for us to kind of set some of this thing up as we need to kind of collect anything. You've got all your fuses and stuff along those lines. But as you can see, uh, this is a different module and it adds a level of complexity onto this game that uh, you probably would be surprised with. I also love the fact that you've got this little component way, 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 way all the way over here just to give you an idea of just how many different things that you're now going to be responsible for. Now, I know some of you are saying, oh, can you go ahead and uh, give us a video on that? Uh, we're going to give you a video on that a little later. Today, I was just showing you how to enable those options. Enjoy.